Hello and welcome to That's The Point. My name is Corey Meyer, here with my on-screen compatriot, Jonathan Stickle. What's up, man? Doing good. We're very monochromatic today, so That's it's right. gonna be easy to put that in the camera. <laughs> on That's The Point, we talk about construction technology and more to that point, uh, typically how to get the most out of your Trimble gear. And today we're talking about defaults. Now, to be clear, we're not talking about financial or banking defaults or anything like that that's in the news. We're talking about field link default settings. Yeah, and I find this to be one of the more surprising of issues. Uh, you're working along and then all of a sudden, boom, you're in meters instead of feet. Uh, maybe you erased your ghost files. You can check out a previous episode um, we do, for we that. We actually link that down there, but ghost files is a whole different thing. Yep. Or but maybe it does you, get rid of your settings. Yep. Or maybe you just grabbed a colleague's tablet instead of your own. In this episode, we're going to quickly break down how and where to go in FieldLink to get your tablet behaving like it used to. Exactly. And so it can really, like you said, it can really jump out of nowhere. And as we look at this, we need to understand that FieldLink has two areas where it stores settings. So it has project settings effectively, and mm -hmm. then we also have our measurement settings. So we're going to look at both of those. And the other thing to talk about is that all of these settings are persistent. So it's not stored per project. Um, once you set it once in FieldLink, it takes that for every project in both of those settings locations. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Just simply means you don't have to set them each time. They stay with your entire FieldLink instance. And, it, and since they stick around, though, that's why sometimes you get tripped up if someone's using the tablet before you are yep. because they may have changed it to something that they prefer. You come back, it's not there. And that's what we're going to cover today. Yep. All right, so let's go into FieldLink and talk about these. So we've got an empty, basic new project sitting here. Um, and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at those project settings. Um, so we're going to go to More. We're going to go to Projects. Makes sense. And we're going to go to our project settings. We can see on the, on the ribbon down at the bottom, we have our basic uh, FieldLink settings um, and preferences that we have. So we have Distance Unit. This is where you'll a lot of times see it. Um, default to meters or something like that. You can set it to feet or in a higher resolution um, as you get down into those inch settings. Um, moving across, we then have coordinate order, which is your northing and easting, your X, Y, Z. Um, obviously, your project has a preference on this, so this is where you simply set how that's displayed. Um, and then you have your temperature units. Makes sense. You have between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Uh, I don't think Kelvin is coming anytime in the near future. Um, and then we have our languages, English, Spanish, all the rest of those like, listed out there. So you can just select which ones that you prefer. Um, so then from there, then we need to talk about the measure settings. It's easy to get to. I'm just going to tap on measure across the top, and we're going to pull that up. And we're just going to go into settings for your measure. And then that is going to then give us our horizontal and our vertical tolerance. You could either just quickly drop down and pick one of those easy fractions, like the 16th of an inch or whatever you want your tolerance to be. I hope you don't use 16th of an inch. Um, or you can type one in as if it's easier for you to type on the, on the keypad, you can do that as well. The one hidden one or one that you can, should pay attention to is in the bottom left-hand corner. We do have a measurement type um, setting. And so if we click that, we're, we then come into the measure mode and we have the selection for some total stations for high precision, fast precision. Best practice, we're normally shooting in high precision, but you do have that fast precision option on some total stations as well. So just know that that option is there. And that's it. That's all the settings that you need to set in FieldLink. Yeah, I mean, with these two setting panels, you can quickly and easily get um, your tablet back to its happy place. And that's what we want. We <laughs> want you in your happy place because we want you set up for success. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest tips, tricks, and pointers that we post here. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's the Point.